I'm David Carnaway, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here in downtown New York for the launch of the Nook HD Plus. This is a nine inch tablet. That's right, nine inches, not 8.9 inches. Um, and it has a 1920 by 1280 resolution and 256 PPI, that's pixels per inch. Um, and that's just slightly less than the 264 pixels per inch on the iPad. Uh, this is about 20% lighter than the iPad. It also costs a lot less. Barnes & Noble is making a big deal about how this starts at $269 for the 16 gigabyte model and only $299 for the 32 gigabyte model. It doesn't quite have the signature nook hook at the bottom of it, um, but this does have a little circle. Um, so this model compared to the seven inch model actually has that little signature design element. Um, it also has expandable memory. This does have a micro SD card slot. Um, it doesn't have a camera, uh, but it does have Bluetooth. And in terms of HDMI, there is no HDMI port. This has an accessory. It's rather expensive at $39, uh, but you can do HDMI out with that accessory. Like the seven inch model, this one also runs ice cream sandwich, a skin version of ice cream sandwich. This is not an open Android model. This obviously has Barnes & Noble's own interface on it, and it has redesigned that interface with new features. You can now do various profiles for the different members of your family. The other big new feature here is Nook Video. It isn't Voodoo or something else like that. This is actually a Nook Video store. Barnes & Noble has also redesigned the shopping experience uh, with something called Nook Channels. That's a new recommendation engine. Um, doesn't apply to just books, but also to apps and video. There is no access to the Google Play Store from this device. Uh, this is a curated app experience. There are about 10,000 apps right now in the Nook Store um, and more being added each day. In terms of performance, like the Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch, this has the same 1.5 gigahertz processor. So you can see pretty similar performance in terms of the Kindle Fire HD, at least at first glance. As for battery life, you get about 10 hours of reading on this device, and Barnes Noble says you can get up to nine hours of video watching. This does not have a set of stereo speakers, but it does have a single speaker. Barnes Noble says it has worked with SRS to improve the sound of that speaker. In terms of other features, Barnes Noble has talked about sort of enhanced magazine reading features on the device and also catalogs. This device is available for pre-order now and ships at the end of October. It is only available in one color. That is Slate. I'm David Carnoy, and that's the Nook HD Plus. Thanks for watching.